Welcome. This is Barry Jones from the Angel School, and we're here for our weekly angel reading for December 4th through the 10th, 2017. So let's just take a moment to take a deep breath to connect in with your heart, your inner well being, your soul to connect in with the alignment of love and see in the word faith, abundance, and joy. And just allow yourself to feel the shifts that occur as you release the outer perspective and concerns and just allow yourself to just go with this energy of well-being, of solutions, of creativity, almost a dynamic of this activity of love, knowing, understanding that the universe isn't com ever complacent, that life is always brimming with new opportunities, brimming with solutions and that you're safe if you just let yourself go and let yourself just sort of be and flow within this stream of alignment that is vast infinite intelligent and always knowing and understanding you and holds you safe in that knowing and understanding and compassion and is always directing you towards your truest desires, the pure desires, your pure intentions and purpose. It is. It understands everything that you've been sort of sifting through and it has taken the best out of all of that contrast that you've been a part of or engaging within and crafting out of it the best opportunities, the best experiences for you of wholeness and well-being. So, and light, truth. I'm saying the word light, and truth. So let your, let this light, let this vast knowing this, your intuition, your instincts, let all of this guide you. Let it create a light for you. It's shining a very bright light upon your life in a very specific way. It's helping you to see things in the way that you're seeing them right now. It's sort of refreshing. And um, the, it's refreshing your perspective and it's helping you to um, sort of adjust your lens so that you all of a sudden now, these new eruptions of emotions, of passions, desires that are surfacing right now are coming out of this, this, all of this understanding, coming out of this context which is refining um, ever, ever refining your own um, belief system and so that you can adjust and sh to those changes that are uh, pertinent and, in, and, for, and specific to what you're asking for. Even when you always don't know what it is you're asking for, it knows. And if you focus upon it and you allow yourself to feel the safety of this, you too will become a part of that knowing. That gap will, cl will close and the activity and the pathways, the avenues, the, the inspired steps and actions will become a part of your knowing. And you will um, find that you're beginning to climb towards some type of fulfillment within this 
this intelligence, this, this protection, this nurturing element of your being. So just seeing what's kind of coming up. Um, and they, they, I just saw the word family. And they're saying that for some of you, they're, they're speaking to some of you, um, they're writing out the word hope and um, faith. I'm getting a feeling about some, uh, the word, I'm hearing, feeling the word reconciliation, um, and I'm seeing the word relief. And they're saying to follow, I'm seeing the word follow. And they want you to follow, even though this, they want you to follow your life your life purpose, your, your, your life path. They want you to have faith in your life path, the one that you're on. And they're writing out the word laugh, which means to me symbolically, when they, when they bring this up, is that there's just things that you, you and I don't get why, why it's happening. But if we could only, if we could see it from their perspective, we would laugh too. Because what we end up doing is that we end up fighting something or trying to create or we exert a lot of effort when you don't have to because the universe is already way ahead of you on that and what they want you to do is to write not the word now it's just remain soulful be true to yourself be true to your heart honor the connections that come out of your heart you know don't be afraid of those soulful connections that you are drawn towards and trust that the things that need to be resolved, the, the truer, the purer you are to the love of your heart, the compassion of your heart, the more readily um, and more easily these reconciliations will occur. Okay? So they want you to know that that is of coming about and it's not much for you to do in order to other than to just be yourself, really, really be yourself. Because when you are yourself, it allows other people to be themselves. You can't give a better gift at this time or any time than to be yourself. Because when you are being yourself, you are vibrating that frequency of light, of truth that resonates and activates others around you their own recognition and it gives them permission also to enjoy this pleasure of freedom of being yourself so when you be yourself they're able to become themselves and that's where the healing can really be present because it comes without judgment or blame and it comes from a recognition that you're safe safe to be who you are like that that's freeing within itself you know you can't you can't you can try to manipulate and fix and do all kinds of things but if you're not doing it for that reason alone then you're really wasting your energy because you're you're just not on the same wavelength with the alignment within yourself or within others around you with whom you're trying to reconcile and what you're doing by pushing and trying so hard to please or to get validation or to create the harmony, what you're ending up doing is just um, creating a challenge. And that's the word they wrote. You, 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 you increase the activity of opposition by trying to resist it with your form or brand of what you think is help and concern. And we know, they know that it does come from that place, but they also understand the laws and you must have faith in the laws and know that when you ever, whenever you offer resistance, that's what you're going to create. You have to find a way to allow. You have to find a way to just get into that energy stream of your soul and go for a ride, let 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 it take you on the ride and guide you towards that place, that oasis within your life or within a situation. And this is 
they keep writing out the word faith. So I get a sense that they really want you to trust and what do you and have faith in alignment. Have faith in your your own alignment. Have faith in the greater the greater part of you, the entire universe that you are connected within. You're a part of this network. And it's really important for us to recognize that we are a part of a network. We are the network. The network is us. And the network is always working for the greater good. The network is always working for you to fulfill your desires, to help you bring about. So we are always exerting. We start off with this. We get, we were inspired and then all of a sudden we kick into effort. And I'm not saying that we're not, we shouldn't, uh, shouldn't, um, go into action because you should inspired action but effort is different the action that you have to put that you have to make happen out of effort is counterproductive because you forget with this idea of effort that you and the net you are the network and the network is you you that that you exist in this network, that you are not alone in your desires. I mean, this was really big for me when this came up um, one day to me recently. Do you understand this? You are not alone ever in your desires. It is as if you, you, I know we see ourselves as individuals, but we're part of that network of God, that, that consciousness of God. And all that was created by it. So you and I are not alone. You are not inspired alone. When you are when you are struck by some desire or opportunity, you are not having that moment alone. It's it's like that. It's like the orgasm of the universe. The only thing about it is you don't have it alone. <laughs> if you, you know, if you, you are having this, the entire network is having the same experience, sensation as you are. And the entire network that is non-physical, that is not restrained by the illusions of the ego and its limiting beliefs, that all of that part is free to still be and is still beaming with that sensation of desire, the activity, that whole dynamic. And so even if you doubt and you get caught because your ego pull draws you in, the rest of the network is still on it. The rest of the network is still having a ball about it. The rest of the network is still in a prolonged infinite orgasm about what you just received as inspiration or desire. And so therefore, you don't have the power really to kill it. The only thing you can do is take yourself out of the awareness of that it's happening. But you can plug back into it anytime you can put your resistance aside. So allow yourself to get in with that network by reminding yourself that you are not alone. You're not having this experience, this desire alone. That it, an entire network of life, consciousness, divine guidance is sharing this desire with you and is also working with you always they're writing out i don't want to leave that word out always to create the success of that of that endeavor endeavor and to help you to fulfill it so it's why your effort your effort has there's a phrase that i'm hearing almost it's like your effort it's sort of like if somebody says uh, to you, your money's no good here. You know, meaning you don't need to pay. 
here. We're, we're all friends. Like your, your, your effort's no good here. In this universe, which you are a part of that network, your effort's no good here. The only thing, the only currency that you can use is inspiration, passion, okay, devotion. But effort, no, we, they, it's no, that your effort's no good here, okay? That's what, that's what I was hearing. Your effort's no good here. Isn't that awesome? Your effort's no good here. So every time, and guess what? So here are the alarm systems to let you know when you're creating effort. This is why we have an emotional guidance system. So if you start worrying, guess what it equals to? Effort. So the alarm is going off effort. Ding, 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 ding. Eh, eh, eh. You know, and that's for you to, your cue, relax, get into the flow of inspiration, connect with the network. I'm not alone in my desire. I'm not the only one working on on this. And yes, they may not be able to, well, let's not get into that. But when they give you cues, when the network bring, gives you cues, see, they share that information with you. They're always sharing what they're seeing, what we can't see because we're in this physical form. And we have our ego, and sometimes it limits us. It's always trying to interrupt the, the, the channel of, of communication. But the, that the channel of communication is never unable to communicate with you or to you. And as soon as they get something that, that they think that they will hand it off to you, they will inspire you with it, they will give you that bright idea, they will all of a sudden just make sure that you align or cross paths with that unexpected opportunity or that surprise visit, you know, or even when you are just being disturbed by your ego and you get locked into this conversation, this horrible, conflicting conversation, they will find a way for something shocking to throw you off. And, and d interrupt the ego because they know they got to work at that too. You don't have to work at that. You don't, have to, you don't have to work very hard to try to find ways to get your ego to stop <laughs> bugging you and taking up all your time. They are always, they're your team. It's, it's, it, you're a part of a network, the network of God. I always open my prayer intentions by invoking God and his network of angels and understanding I'm a part of that network, just like you are too, okay? So just know in this week that you're not alone in your desires. You're not alone in your desires. All right, so let's take a look at the card for the theme of this week. And I'm using the Archangel Oracle cards by Dorian Virtue. And this week we're starting with the Angel Tarot um, by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. So let's take a look and see how this week begins. Uh, so. ah, and we have Archangel Raziel, and the card is Clairvoyance. So this is a message for you to trust your, the, your, your insight, to trust the... Um, the, the things that you are beginning to maybe, I'm getting a sense about envisioning um, that you, you may be shown things or things may come to your imagination um, where you wouldn't, weren't able to visualize or see yourself um, or see things in this way. So, uh, you know, it's, there's one thing about getting a vision, um, like when most of you think in psychic vision, um, but don't dismiss those visions that you of yourself where where you are all of a sudden starting to formulate a new perspective you know where you're starting to see your life in a new way or to see yourself um, doing something you couldn't see yourself doing before but now you you're seeing it it's like you're 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 opening your your you're opening up your heart and when you open up your heart then your mind is able to open to new ideas and is more receptive 
to things that you weren't seeing before. And so I'm getting a sense that you were seeing yourself as maybe stuck, for an example, and and you were just racking your brain trying to find, figure out how to get out of this thing or how to resolve this situation. And you just couldn't see any possibilities. It looked like you were stuck, like in a deep hole, six feet in the ground, and you there was no way to climb out or anything. And we know that that would be saying that you're not a part of the network, <laughs> that there is no help, you have no resources, and we now understand that that's not true. And so the thing is, is that what it took was for you to stop focusing on what was and what's going on, what you're seeing, and to allow yourself to um, shift out of that, that, that fear. And that's when the universe is trying to get help you to bring those pieces to you. And I feel like that's what's happening, that they're able to interrupt that, that flow of your ego. And you've been watching Channel Ego, and you can't see any opportunities, any solutions, any options, nada. You're like at a gridlock. And that they are able to get through and show you um, something different or help you to think differently about yourself to come from that pure place of alignment where it's infinite that you're able to tap into that infinite perspective and see <clears throat> and see an opportunity and don't think don't get so quick to go but that's not the best you know what let it be for now enjoy that little path of relief that the universe is able to get through to you and communicate to you because that will be the way to begin to let the heart open. It's a way to let the heart open and go with that for now until you're able to open up to greater ideas until you basically remove this mirage of you being trapped in some hole and you see that it was just an illusion. It was just a hologram. You, you created it out of your fear. It's like you projected that fear and that's all you could see because with the laws of the universe, you get what you are believing. You get what you are willing to um, see. And so now you're willing to see things differently. That situation put you in that position so that you had nothing else to do but live. And as you keep living, then you, st you start to keep you start to allow yourself to, to notice differences that you didn't see before. And you may see those differences within yourself or your abilities or your talents or your gifts. It's gonna come in very, a variety of ways is what I'm really getting about this card. So Archangel Azrael, uh, Raziel, whose name means the secrets of God. So anything that's been hidden from you, okay, it's going to be revealed is what I'm getting a sense about this week. It says, I'm helping your spiritual sight to awaken fully so you can clearly see heavenly love. Okay, so this week, somehow you're going to get an opportunity to tap into that network and recognize that you're part of that network and you're not alone here. Okay, so let's take a look at the card for the beginning of the week. Okay, so we have the the nine of fire and this would be the nine of wands here so this card is generally about you um in one in one respect it's like you you're you're putting up your guard okay you're on alert um a lot and something has gotten you has caused you to kind of um have to put up your back up against the wall and um, sort of prepare your, your defenses for something. And what you're doing here is, and I like this card because even here, but in the traditional card, it shows this one person who's going to hold down the fort and, you know, he's already been beaten up enough. And, and it's like, um, whatever it is, it's something that we haven't learned, you know? 
um, and to me this speaks right to what they were just talking about you you're gonna keep because where this card leads next which is to 10 where you're overwhelmed if you keep taking on the weight of everything on your back okay um, and keep forgetting and, 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 and when you forget that means you exclude the network and if you exclude the network you're not open to the possibilities you're not open to the help okay so the, the, they want you to be open to the help don't don't give up you know when you feel like you're all on your own that means you're giving up on your your the, the prayers and the the responses to those prayers from the universe your collective team so don't give up okay and the card says protect that which you've created have courage and believe in yourself okay so um the thing is is that you we want to learn about this in a different way what they mean by protect what you've created you you what you want to focus on is everything that comes from that pure place of alignment your your per, your true purpose and you don't have to protect it as much as you need to set boundaries okay for yourself not for others because you really can't we can set boundaries for others but if you have to set boundaries for yourself first you know you have to align with your integrity you have to you know reassess what is what keeps you in, in, in integrity with your soul, with your heart, and those become your boundaries that you set. And you don't, you don't allow yourself to, um, to get drawn and outside of that. So the, the feeling I'm getting is, is that you, you, because when you get drawn outside of that, that's effort. Okay. And it's sort of like when you are aware of, what your soul's integrity is there's no effort in that you you just you're just keeping everything flowing you're just allowing and flowing in that stream of of well-being because that's where your boundaries come from that that stream of well-being but but when you start to feel like you've got to make that happen then you're exerting effort and then you, you usually get drawn out because you're drawn out into what you think others are thinking or what others or how others are treating you you're, you're taking it personal um, what they're what they're thinking and saying and doing their actions and that draws you out of your own alignment your own affluence of well-being and so you're really then working with that outside source and no longer working with um, yourself. You know, you're no longer honoring your own alignment. So to set boundaries means to honor your purpose, honor your goals, honor your alignment, your truth. Don't fight with other people. Don't get, don't get ready to fight them off. You don't have to do that. You just have to stand in your own alignment and honor your truth. Be yourself, and then they can be themselves. They may bulk at it, as I'm hearing. They're going to bulk at it, but let, that's for them to do. Because when you're being yourself and other people can't deal with that, then eventually what they're wrestling with is being in their truth. Because when you wrestle with them out of alignment then they everybody gets permission to be out of alignment and nobody has to see the truth do you understand so you're you're not protecting anything valuable at that point and this is what they're the, po the point they're trying to make here okay so let's take a look at the card for the middle of the week all right and this, this is the three of fire which is the three of wands we have two wand cards here and and this is about this having this long-term perspective okay and so what I'm hearing about this is that you're gonna have to really because this card is at the beginning of this the suit of the three sort of uh, triads here so that means you gotta you gotta be, you gotta look at the long-term goals here of staying in alignment so it's not that you're gonna get immediate results is what I'm hearing 
you know, uh, concerning this first situation. You're not going to get the immediate results that you're looking for. You know, don't expect everybody to just all of a sudden, just because you decide to be, um, honor yourself, that everybody else is going to immediately shift and, and do the same thing, okay? First of all, you're honoring yourself not because you want them to honor you. We have a big thing about this and we get really caught up in it. And I'm hearing from them, you're really going to have to let that go. We, we, you know, we're like, you see so many people getting arguments because she's not respecting me. I want respect, you know, and we're going to have to get over that <laughs> because that's not what we want energetically. We're part of the network and they are too. And what we want for the network, for the, for the, for the beauty of the network is that we want everyone, we want alignment. We want everyone to honor the integrity of the network is our real goal. We don't want really respect for us individually. We want respect for the network because if there's respect for the network, then we will all be able to fall into that affluence, that alignment much sooner. So you're, you're thinking about the long-term goal here. And if you honor your own in, um, peace in the network, then you are stabilizing helping to stabilize that entire network. And what I mean by that, because it's already stable, but you're stabilizing everyone else's connection to it. You're helping them to do that. And that's a new way of looking at this. But I feel it's like really important uh, how they're bringing this through and through my consciousness to kind of help you to understand that. And I'm hearing it too for the first time. So it's really important that we get that. And so that long-term goal, because when others have... A, a more secure connection to their to their alignment, then all of our all of us can have fulfilling um, and successful dreams fulfilled in our lives, and happiness, and enjoyment, and pleasure. So look look towards the the long goal long term um, goal of of this okay um, situation. And the insights and how it's helping you to sort of let go of those challenges to release those you know those struggles which have a lot to do with us just getting drawn outside of ourselves our with our heart uh, the platform that our heart is um, based upon and and what it's trying to um, create in the experience of your life and the example that it can offer to others. I'm seeing the word example. All right, so let me t let's continue and see what's going on at the end of the week. Ah, and this is a good card. Um, this card is about, and this kind of I feel like this kind of speaks to what we we're just talking about too, because it creates that. This card is you know about uh, leaving that lasting legacy right um, behind for our families, and in this case too, our world family. But I know this is a minor arcana card, but you know, um, that the people in our lives, in our communities, in our, our family, um, this is a gift that will keep giving, right? And it will keep giving for you because as you learn to shift your perspective, and this is sort of like a huge ascension lesson, because we're learning to seek respect for our for ourselves through the way that we focus through the way that we focus and through our own alignment understanding that there is an integrity uh, um, that we have to be start really um, pursuing that allows us to have this connection, this access to this alignment that creates all of the wealth, the blessings, the rewards, the opportunities, and infinite possibilities that we are seeking. And what it says is that if we continue in this path, we'll always be following. Because this card is about beginnings and endings. Endings and then moving into beginnings, right? As we go back to one, 10 takes us, you know, 
shows us the fulfillment of nine and then takes us right back to the beginning where we begin a new cycle. But we can continue this cycle where we always, always come back, always come to this place, but at a different uh, expanded level as we explore um, life. And, but we explore it through this connect, this access, this infinite access that we just keep expanding and exploring and expanding and exploring. And so it's up to you to whether or not you want to um, keep those challenges there by, by not doing that. And it's okay you're going to have challenges because that's a part of the human experience. I'm not saying it's going to I'm not, don't want us to get to this whole idea of peace means no contrast because that's not it at all. It's, what I feel that peace represents, the peace that, that we're um, really wanting <clears throat> is where... We, because we want the contrast because it helps us to, to discover. It helps us to explore. Because, you know, when something happens and maybe you don't like it, then you know you, you know what you want. You kind of make up your mind all of a sudden. Or it's that moment, a decision is made in that moment or it evolves out of that moment, you see. And so we want the, the contrast. But the difference is, I think, the, when you know that you've reached that place of peace... With life is that you, um, you under you 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 allow you see it helping you to form the new opportunities that and a new and and it helps you to see other possibilities. Without it, we would just be stuck, which brings no one peace, right? As we where we started off at the beginning, feeling stuck in that hole. Um, and being in a hole, you really, there's no contrast. You've allowed yourself, you, you've actually turned off the contrast or, or just buried your head so you don't have to see anything. Because when your life is contrast, so if you're going to participate in life, there's always going to be contrast. It's just how you, how you deal with it, how you recognize it. What's the, but do you see it through fear or do you see it through love? You know? Do you say, are you compassionate about the, the contrast that you experience in your life? And that's really, really important. So the week is basically presenting um, opportunities, new, new insights occurring to you, your inner vision, um, your ability your, your, is expanding in ways that your imagination may increase, um, ideas may, uh, may flow, the way you see solutions or creative um, opportunities will is expanding shifting and, and and allowing you to explore your way um, into onto new avenues all right let's take a look at the card i've already pulled from the bottom and and this is a ten of water which is a ten of cups and this is of course ten of earth is pentacles but i'm sure most of you get that uh, connection more than this, the seasons. But this, this, when I saw this card right away, what I felt was that confirmation about the family situation. Um, or, and this could be your, you know, biological family or your spiritual family or someone that you, that's like family to you, um, your tribe. And this is, this is uh, definitely saying that things are going to resolve because tens are about what's the outcome of the the suit here and so that um, you're going to find this place eventually is uh, where uh, this contentment uh, harmony and alignment between you but it comes from being yourselves okay so if you're struggling and we all are with just being yourself now is the time to focus on that, okay? And, 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 and stop exerting so much effort to be yourself and just start honoring your heart, the integrity of your heart, so that, that you give yourself access to that alignment where you will start to flow and feel into the opportunities, the activity that's flowing there. And it's just going to sweep you up and allow you to be yourself and not give you so much time to think about what other people are thinking about because there's a lot going on there. There's so much in there that busy would be busy. And sometimes we're really afraid of being busy and that's being afraid of that 
alignment, that, that activity that's always flowing in our vortex of cre creation. You know, the ego knows there's lots going on in there. And so it makes you afraid and tries to talk you out of things by saying, oh, but you'll be overburdened if you go for that new job. You won't have enough hours. You won't be able to spend time with your family. It's blah, blah, blah. That's your ego talking, okay? That's your ego talking. Because the greater part of you is excited and, and you felt like like a, like almost like you were having an orgasm internally in your heart over this the prospect of this opportunity that's your only signal that you that's the only thing you should be focused on because energy and t time is energy everything is energy and when you are flowing with it there's no such thing as time there's no such thing as time, and there's no such thing as not enough. <laughs> Which, like, and, and especially not enough energy to do it. So put that aside, okay? So I send you lots of love and angel blessings, and see the light is coming in from the sun now, um, directly at my window. And that's a good sign, too. So um, uh, some kind of breakthrough, the light coming um, in this week for you. So I send you lots of love. Thank you for joining me here for the weekly readings and um, following us on uh, YouTube. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that. Um, if you like the video, like it. Um, and thank you so much for sharing the video and getting it out there to those who need it. You're being like messengers, uh, angels in, in doing so. Um, also, if you haven't joined us for the daily card messages, um, on my YouTube, I'm sorry, my Facebook page, then you can go to the description link below and click on that to look at the daily cart messages Monday through Friday. Um, also, if you haven't um, had an angel reading with me and if you've been thinking about it um, and you feel guided and inspired to do it, put the effort aside, right? Um, you can go to my website, theangelschool.com on the services page where you can sign up for an angel reading. There's a first time promotional angel reading there for you. Um, if you are um, looking for an angel reading um, and I'm getting a sense of if you are a former client and you've had readings with me, um, if you, I guess they want me to do this for the, the holiday season. So if you, would like an angel reading, you can also get the first time promotional angel reading um, through the um, holiday season. So it'll end on um, January 1st, okay? Um, so if you wanna get readings now, um, I may not be able to book them all before the holidays, but you know some can be starting after the holidays, I can book them as long as you get them before uh, or on. January 1st. Okay. All right. So I look forward to speaking with you and I'm sharing in your experiences and wish you all a wonderful week and to um, respect your own soul's alignment. Until next week, God bless you all.